Well, everything's wet. I have to sneak my shoes off and shove them up here in the corner. Off. Ah, we're in like Flint. Guess what? I want to get this jacket off. All right, come on. It's getting kind of late, so I'm thinking that I'm going to get in my sleeping bag and call it a night. It's freaking cold out there. We have somebody trying to sneak up here. I did not sleep very good at all. People coming up here in the middle of the Guys, welcome back to the channel, Lower Michigan Adventures. Today what we have is a very windy, uh, rainy day and uh, we're going to try to do some camping here. You're actually not supposed to camp here during this time of the year, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to see what happens and hopefully we don't get busted. Come join us. So I'm actually going to give you a quick walk around the car to show you this area. And it's uh it's awful windy out. We got a lot of rain. I put uh, Bella back in the car because I don't want her taking off on me. But we're gonna have to get back in the car and start cooking. Uh, we don't want to ruin our camera and have to dry it out. So we're gonna get in the car and we're gonna start cooking something. Well, everything's wet. At the Sneak my shoes off and shove them up here in the corner. Sneak my other shoe off. Whew. Let's go back, Lou. Ah, we're in like Flint. And guess what? I'm happy. Although I'm soaking wet now. I want to get this jacket off. Whew. Just to give you a perspective. That's raining out and we're wet. But we're inside where it's dry so we should get cooking. Now we haven't set up our window blinds yet because of the rain. You know I like my peppers. Set that these pieces over here. And go right here. nice to be inside the car camper out of the elements. So there we go. Now we got some uh, brats. Cut these up real quick. It's gonna be a mess. Only reason why I'm cutting them up is so they cook a little faster. So that's what we got here, a mess. And I got another one. I think I got paper towel in here. Before we 
cut up any more of these. Let's get this pan up here. There we go. Let's get this back over this way. Cut up the rest of these. Sometimes it's tough doing stuff like this in a small space. Perfect. Now I actually found this tiny little spatula that's going to work perfect for this. And this little bag that we had our meat in will be perfect for our scraps. Little Bella, she tired. Little Bella, you tired? Bella. And I am all dressed up for St. Patty's Day because this is uh, St. Patty's Day weekend. So we decided we're going to do a crazy little uh, camp. I don't know. We may get caught. I hope not because I've actually been told uh, by a DNR to not stay here because it's not time yet. So hopefully we don't get caught. We're going to take a chance. So let's dump the rest of this in here. And let's get this puppy ready to start cooking. Let's move this, get this set up a little bit better. Which way do we want to go? This way. Let's crank it up. Put her lid on it. Let's let it cook. To show you just how much power it's pulling. 1173. The current temperature inside the car camper. 59 degrees. The current condition outside. It's kind of slowing down on the wind. It's not nearly as windy. But we still have, as you can see, some light rain currently light rain no oh. yeah it's not too bad in here it's a lot better than it is outside i can tell you that right now with all the wind light rain ready for a nice hot meal i'm hoping we don't draw any coyotes in tonight Lou, are you tired? Well, at least we're in a car that's completely closed up instead of a tent. So I've been in a tent with Bella before when coyotes have came out and about, and it's not really no fun at all. It's actually kind of nerve-wracking. It doesn't mean that we won't draw them in, because we could draw them in, but chance of them uh, really... Uh, giving us too much trouble inside of a car is slim to none. And the car camper is already warming up from the heat of this here grill. It smells delicious. Go ahead and turn it off. Just let it finish cooking. A look and see what it did to our front windows. Steamed it up. Should have cracked the windows. So I'm actually going to put my little divider up to keep some of the steam back here and not so much up there. Oh. A little turkey. 
There we go. There we go. That ought to work. Put that up. Yeah, that works. Keep it nice and warm back here. Try to avoid letting too much steam get up there and that where all the computer stuff is to the car. So it got really steamy in here. I should have actually cracked the window. So let's try this. I got a fork in here somewhere. There we go. So let's unplug this puppy. Plug it from this. There we go. Put that over there. Set this hot lid over here. Now the nice thing about this is this really ain't too awful hot. Now let's try these. You know I like peppers. Mm. Look, well, I'm surprised you didn't want any. That tastes pretty good. Did you? I feel like I forgot a couple valuable things for this hair camping trip. One thing I forgot is I didn't bring any headlamps that I know of. There may be one stash somewhere in here, but I know I got a little camp light and a lantern, but I don't have a headlamp. Pretty good. Bella, you want some? You want some of these? Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, Daddy. We'll give you some. Come here. Come here. Woo. It's hot. Come here. Come here. Come up here. Baby, I know you want some. She's she's scared because it got all steamy in here and she took off. She went up there. And then I'm like, well, maybe I should block this off because it was getting so steamy up there. And then I cr decided we should crack the windows. But these, these turned out pretty good. Come here, come here. Then another thing, I, I don't know. I gotta go looking for her leash too. She's got one buried in here somewhere. She's gonna have to go potty, I know that. We ain't going too far from the car. This area right here is really known for coyotes. I'm hoping that I'll catch them on either sound tonight sometime. I hope I don't catch them on camera. Then that means they're really close. But we'll see. Mm. Delicious. actually found her leash and it stopped raining <clears throat> but it is it is getting chilly out so I think I'm gonna throw my hoodie on real quick phew watch out Lou he's gotta put his hoodie on phew that's better. That's better. Okay. Wow. 
Well, it's just about eight o'clock at night. It stopped raining. We ain't got too much more daylight left. And if you look back this way, you can tell that the sun's going down. It is actually cleared up. So it's kind of cool. It's a good deal. The only thing is we got a lot of wind still. It's still really windy out here. Not quite as bad as it was earlier though. I'm going to walk Bella around a little bit, let her go potty, and we're going to get in the car and maybe make some coffee. Get ready for our premiere tonight. We have a premiere tonight. So, what a perfect uh, time to be out camping and uh, respond to the premiere. It'll give me a little bit of time to kind of hang out that, and the premiere and chill out before bed. So I have not set my window blinds up yet. As you can see, you can still see my lighting on inside my car. I got the old Jackery. Lou, what are you doing? Did you go potty? We got the old Jackery running the backlight and the EcoFlow doing the cooking and making the coffee for us. I had a little setup. As you can see, that was raining pretty good earlier. Come on. I'm getting my bed all dirty, Lou. We got a seep here shoes right in this here under here and I gotta do that with the other one because I don't know if it's gonna try to rain again tonight oh of course I had to drop my shoe why wouldn't I I would tell Bella about not getting dirt everywhere and here I am stepping down in dirt now I'm gonna clean off my feet Yell at Bella for it, and then you do it, Jimmy. Perfect. Let's see. We're going to make some coffee. Might have to turn it on in the back. Oh, shoot. There we go. We all set. There we go. Let's make some coffee. guys put some water in there now this won't take too awful long to make this here coffee and today we're using the Joule Stoke Voltix little camp kettle, and that's what we're gonna make our coffee with. Uh, it's getting kind of late. Well, that was a pretty darn good premiere. We had a pretty good uh, 
uh, turnout for the 845 premiere of the solo camping adventure. And uh, we really appreciate the super sticker we got from B. I'm just going to say B. Uh, the premiere's over, and we actually just got done doing a little live. And I wanted to finish up with this video because me and Bella are normally asleep way by now. So this thing works fast. So let me see if I got some coffee. We got a fresh new one, but I think I have... Oh, I've got another Folgers. So we got some Folgers right there. I'm going to give that a few more minutes. And uh, little Bella's up there in the front seat. She's tired of my shenanigans today. She's uh, pretty much all whipped. And uh, the Jackery actually died on us. So uh, what's running our backlight and our camp kettle, our camp kettle, the Jewel Stoke Voltix, is the EcoFlow Delta II. And uh, that actually doesn't have a whole lot of power on it neither because I've used this for several cooks and coffee and everything. And we're currently at about 32%. It's almost ready for the coffee. We're going to take you outside, walk you around the car, show you our spot a little bit. Uh, I actually have this little uh, lantern that we're going to use and hopefully that gives you enough light to be able to see around outdoors for what we're going to do. A little walk around the car and yeah. So I'll show you currently where we are. Although this almost sounds like it's done. Can you hear it? <laughs> so between the camp kettle and the backlight, we're pulling about 506 watts. We're 31%, so not bad, but not good. Too hot. It's about right. I'll show you what we got here. Oh yeah, we got coffee. We have 55 degrees, and let's turn that off. We got 29% left on our EcoFlow Delta. Whew. So, unplug this coffee. Uh, I'm actually going to have a couple drinks of this here coffee. And then we're going to take a walk outside the car camper. It's getting kind of late. And we're going to show you where we're at. Bella, are you sleeping? Bella. Bella. Bella's sleeping. Well, I'm going to try to take you outside. I'm going to have to have this here lantern because it's dark and hopefully you can see where we're at or what it looks like. I gotta put my tennis shoes on. And we'll take a take a look outside and see where we're at. Ah. Ah. 
Uh, put my shoes on. All right, come on. Now Belle wants to get up after she knows I'm getting ready to go outside. Whew. Now, hey, get back. Get in there. You can't get out there. Now get in there. Whew. So I don't know how good you're going to be able to see this area. Probably not very good at all. So, it's a little hard to see out here. Unfortunately, my backlight with my little jackery died on me, so that kind of dampered the situation a little bit of walking around outdoors and showing you guys it's getting kind of late so i'm thinking that i'm gonna get my sleeping bag and call it a night because i'm not used to being up this late at night i'm not I'm not used to staying up this late at night Whew. it's freaking cold out there Ooh, set this over here. Shoes. It's really dirty from being wet out there today. Guess we'll throw this over here. <sighs> this thing is my dome light ain't staying on too long. Put this back here. <sighs> I think we're gonna Wrap this up before too long tonight and get in here and get relaxed. Show you what time it is. I don't know if you can see this or not. Eleven. 17 p.m. 54 degrees inside the car and way past my bedtime. Good thing we had that premiere and I jumped on and had a live from this dispersed camping spot and then decided I needed to finish this up. So we're gonna get all comfy and get in this here sleeping bag Unless anything crazy happens tonight. We'll see y'all in the morning. Oh. Look at Belle. She's coming right down here with her daddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She gonna want to get up here. Go night night. She gonna want to go night night with daddy. All right. All right. Too many kisses. All right.
she said good night. Maybe we should shut the lights off. Huh? You think we better shut the lights off? No. no. All right. All right. My feet are cold. Are you cold? I'll get you in a sleeping bag here in a minute. Let's shut these lights off. <laughs> Somebody was messing with us. sleep. I can't believe all the different people that come up through here in the middle of the night just randomly driving up through here. It's enough to drive you crazy. Startled the heck out of Bella one time and we set off the car alarm. Caught that one on camera. I think I got some oatmeal in here. We're probably gonna have some oatmeal. And uh, probably warm that up in the Jewel Stoke Voltex. And uh, get some water around here. battery do we got 26 percent ooh, ooh. first thing first plug this puppy in and turn it on she's already steaming pour a little bit of water in there And what we're going to end up having is some maple brown sugar oatmeal. One thing you can bet with the little Jewel Stoke Voltix camp kettle, it's not going to take very long to get it warmed up. So let's crack into the oatmeal. This in our little garbage bag down here. think it'll be too bad. We'll let it set and simmer and it should be good. Not gonna be too bad at all. It'll thicken up. Look at it. It's already starting to thicken up. Let's give it a few minutes and she should be good to, for eating. Ugh. Ugh. Goodness, looks like there's a little bit of frost on the ground. It got colder than I thought it did last night. 
That's a little nippy. It's a little nippy out here, Lou. Ooh. little frost well let's attempt to uh, walk around the car here with belly yanking and pulling on me Lou stop pulling she's so hyper nothing to be hyper about we didn't get much sleep last night I tried to sleep I don't know if you can see the frost along the side there but it got kind of chilly out I don't know if you can see that sunrise just over there. actually kind of chilly out so much warmer in the car camper so our body heat alone must be giving off some pretty good heat Ugh. We're gonna actually jump in the car and see what temperature it is actually out this morning. We're in like Flint, Lou. Let's start this puppy up and see what degree it is out there. Ain't that nice? It said my Bluetooth is connecting. It looks like it's trying to snow. Oh my goodness. Welcome to Michigan. One day it'll be 50, the next day it'll be snow. Yeah. I guess we better get back in the back of the car and yeah look at that yesterday it was actually raining 
and raining hard and high wind. Today, we got snow. So, we got to get from the front seat back in the back of the car. So, Bella can do it a different way, but I can't. And it says no remote. Oh, look at this. Ain't this just beautiful? Beautiful. <laughs> snowing, it's snowing, it's snowing. Bell's trying to see what her dad's doing. All right, let's get back in this vehicle. So for this to actually work, I had to move our cook pan out of the way. Ay, 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 ay. It's getting cold. It's getting cold. That's still warm in here. Believe it or not, it's holding in here. Let's unplug this. One-handed bandit. Put it down here out of the way. Let's see what her oatmeal looks like. Not too bad at all. Just in case you're wondering what temperature it is actually inside the car camper, it's like 50 degrees, but like 34 outside and snowing. I don't know if you can see that. Probably on a big screen, you can probably see it pretty good, but we got light snow flurries. Whew. Stir this up. It's actually not too awful bad consistency. Once we took our little hike around this little dispersed camping spot, over here on this public hunting land. This isn't too bad. But I was like, where's mine? Lou, you should still be full from last night. You, you finished off some of that sausage. Yeah, you did. You finished off the sausage. And earlier when we did a walk, we actually went down and she got a drink at the little river down there. But I didn't get that because she was tugging and pulling to get to the water. I think she was thirsty. Lou, was you thirsty? But she tired still, huh? So this ain't too bad a consistency. I did not sleep good out here, like I said. Um, I kept trying to sleep. We tossed and turned half the night. Every time I got comfortable and started falling asleep, I thought I heard something, and it was driving me berserk. And Belle was jumping around and acting antsy. I think it's because it got a little chilly out here too, but it's not that bad in the car really, it's not. Here's a little secret. Don't get your sleeping bag too close to the back light because it will really warm up. It'll really warm up the sleeping bag. And also I think that these two lights, that backlight puts out some heat. Now, if you laid this up against it and just left it there, you might possibly start a fire because it puts out some heat. So I think that that's actually helping warm up the little car camper too. And we're in such a small space.
I wonder if I have enough enough battery left. Here's my trash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this off real quick. I'm gonna just drink it down. It's not. I mean, it's thick, but and it's still steaming. And I'm gonna try to rinse it out and wipe it off with some paper towel. I gotta wipe this down too. I'm making a mess of myself. With all this cold wind and rain that we had yesterday, and then we got a little bit of a clearing last night where it wasn't too bad, and now right now it's snowing. Or it went from rain to today snowing again. And that's what it's doing right now. I'll wipe this out real quick, show you. Well, here's the thing too. This is maple oatmeal, maple and brown sugar. So, clean this out really good. Put this in here. I'm just gonna fire up some water, because it's not that bad. We're just going to make coffee right straight out of here. I don't even know about rinsing it. I might do a little quick rinse. Even though I'm a hot mess myself anyways. We'll do a quick rinse. So I got my little trash right here. Put that down there. Do a little quick rinse. When I go to take this Jewel Stoke Voltix camp kettle inside, I'm going to bring the spoon in there and we'll wash it. There's trash in here. I'm going to show you the snow real quick. And then we're going to start our coffee. some snow it's just light flurries and I'll shut this door and we'll attempt to plug this back in and we're gonna make some coffee and hopefully I've been really pushing this here battery I mean I've cooked so much stuff on this thing and not recharged it and made coffee I mean that this is just one of probably like three or four videos out where I've used this uh, quite a bit, quite a bit on different things, and have has have still not recharged this EcoFlow Delta Two. Okay, so let's plug her in. She looks like she's on. Oh, maybe it pops on at first. There, you heard it. It tricks you when you first plug it in. So you hear the EcoFlow Delta 2. Still on drink mode. I love this little Jewel camp kettle. Stoke Voltix. It's the way to go. 
it's safer than using gas inside of the car camper, I think. Take care of our trash finally. And we'll play the waiting game. I'm gonna have to clean this up too. Looks like I got a little bit of oatmeal on there. We'll get her all cleaned up for next time when we come out. I almost thought maybe I might need this long-handled spoon for the oatmeal, but I ended up not needing it. Bella. She's so tired. I should be tired with like three to four hours of restless sleep. I don't know. Maybe it's more than that. Maybe it's four or five. But it's kind of restless, to be honest. We're just making coffee, so I really don't want a full out boil. But as you can see, we got like a rolling. So let's shut this puppy down. We don't got only about 11 minutes left on our backlight and it's gonna die. And I don't know how good our lighting is going to be in here. So, we'll bust open this morning coffee. Folgers in your cup. Unplug this puppy. Got some Folgers in our cup. Quick little stir. And guys, thanks for joining us with this little camping adventure. Uh, we just about wiped out our battery. We got some hot coffee and we're gonna sit back here, chill out, sip this down and probably pack things up and get out of here. I actually gotta work tomorrow so we didn't get much sleep last night, but we're going to try to get some sleep today for sure uh, for tomorrow. We get up bright and early, so last night was quite an adventure for us. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure to smash the thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. And we'll catch you at our next great adventure. Cut. Well, for anyone that's sticking around for a couple extra seconds, there's a little bit of bonus footage of us exiting this area. So, stick around. So this was a crazy little adventure. Uh, we got a little bit spooked in the middle of the night. We had some uh, rain in the beginning, some heavy wind. Oh no, I almost hit that, ooh, scared me. And we woke up to some light snow, but we survived the night. It really wasn't too bad, to be honest. I would definitely do it again. Uh, Bella's pretty tired out.